Hey guys, this is Aman from Edureka and welcome to today's session on AWS Developer Certification. AWS Certification helps learners build the credibility and confidence by validating the cloud expertise with an industry recognized credential. It is listed among the top paying IT certification worldwide. So if you're a professional or a fresher with the tag of AWS Certified, it will definitely help you in getting many more job opportunities in AWS related projects. So in today's session, we'll learn about one of the most popular AWS certification, which is AWS Developer Certification. But before we get started, I would like to address the agenda for today's topic. First, we will know who is an AWS Cloud Developer. Then we'll see a roadmap to AWS Developer Certification. Moving on, we will talk about some of the prerequisites for Developer Certification and an overview of the exam guide. We will conclude the session by knowing how you can start preparing for the certification. And guys, if you like our video, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to never miss an update from the Edureka channel. Also, if you're looking for an online training certification in AWS, check out the link given in the description box below. Moving on to our first topic, who is an AWS Cloud Developer? An AWS Cloud Developer creates applications and services that are powered by AWS and are also deployed on the AWS platform. This could include developing anything from infrastructure and software applications to containers, operating systems, system management tools, and serverless applications. AWS developers should have complete understanding of the core AWS services and also implement the best practices regarding security and scalability. The job includes implementing and maintaining the most suitable AWS architecture based on the company's needs. They also help in developing a cost-oriented design for the clients. Now that you have an idea about who is an AWS Cloud Developer, let us move on to the next topic and see the roadmap to AWS Developer Certification. So there are four types of AWS Certification. First one is Foundation, then Associate, Professional, and Speciality. In the foundation level, there is only one certification, which is the Cloud Practitioner. So if you're new to cloud computing and want to have an overall understanding of the AWS Cloud, I would highly recommend you to take this certification first. After the foundational certificate, next is the Associate Level Developer Certification. This certification is for individuals who are interested in programming language and have knowledge of at least one high-level programming language. They should also have knowledge about containers and should be able to code for serverless applications. After associate level certification, the next certification is the DevOps Engineer Professional Certification. We will discuss about all the certification in details now. So first we have the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification. It is intended for individuals who have the knowledge and skills to effectively demonstrate an overall understanding of the AWS Cloud. This certification is independent of any specific technical role compared to the other AWS certifications. For the certification, you should have knowledge of various AWS cloud concepts, core AWS services, security, architecture, pricing, and support. It is also recommended that the candidate should have at least six months of experience working with the AWS cloud in any role. It could be managerial role, technical role, sales, purchasing, or financial. The next certification is AWS Developer Associate Certification. It is intended for individuals who perform a development role and also have one or more year hands-on experience developing and maintaining an AWS-based application. They should also have an understanding of core AWS services, their use cases, and basic AWS architecture best practices. After the Associate Developer Certification, the next certification is AWS DevOps Engineer Professional Certification. It is intended for individuals who are interested in performing a DevOps Engineer role. They should have two or more years of experience provisioning, operating, and managing AWS environments. They should also be experienced in programming in at least one high-level programming language. They should also manage the continuous delivery system on AWS platform. Now that you have an idea about AWS certification, let us see some of the prerequisites for developer certification. Firstly, you should have one year experience in developing and maintaining an AWS based application. Then you should have in-depth knowledge of at least one high level programming language. You should be familiar working with the core AWS services and also understand AWS architectures best practices. 
you should be skilled in developing, deploying, and debugging cloud-based applications using AWS tools. For developer certification, you should also understand the use of containers in your development process and also be skilled in writing code for serverless applications. These were just some of the prerequisites for developer certification. Now let us move on to the next topic and see the overview of the exam guide. For AWS Certified Developer Associate Examination, you will have two types of question. First one is multiple choice and next we have multiple responses. In multiple choice, the question has one correct response and three incorrect responses. And in multiple responses, the question has two or more correct responses out of five or more options. The time limit for AWS Developer Certification exam is 130 minutes. And the cost for this exam is 150 US dollars. You can write this examination in English, Japanese, Korean, or simplified Chinese. You can attend this exam in any testing center or choose for online proctored exam according to your convenience. Now let us take a look at the topics from which the questions are asked. 22% of the questions are asked from deployment where you have to answer questions on how to deploy written code in AWS using existing CI CD pipelines and also about questions on how to deploy applications using Elastic Beanstalk. Next, 26% of the questions are asked from security on how to make authenticated calls to AWS services, how you can implement encryption using AWS services and how you can implement application authentication and authorization. Next, the most important topic is development with AWS services, where questions are asked on how to write code for serverless applications, how you can translate functional requirements into application designs, and how to implement those application design into application code. You should also write code to interact with AWS services by using APIs, SDK, and AWS CLI. The fourth topic is refactoring the question on optimizing application to best use of AWS services and features are asked and how you can migrate existing application code to run on AWS platform. The last topic is monitoring and troubleshooting where you have to write code that can be monitored and also perform root cause analysis on fault which is found during testing and production. Now that you have an overview of the exam guide, let us move on to the last topic for today and see how you can start preparing for the certification. The first step is to download the exam guide and the sample questions. The exam guide includes all the information about the AWS certification. It contains the required knowledge to take up the certification, the exam format, how the results are calculated and about the various domains from which the questions are asked in the exams. The sample questions on the other hand will give you an idea about what types of questions are asked in the certification exams. You can find both the guide and the sample questions in AWS official website. The next step for preparing for the certification is having hands-on practice on AWS services. Firstly, learn about the core AWS services and start practicing them. You can start practicing the services for free using the AWS free tier account and also focus on the compute, storage, security, database, and network modules. These are the domains from which the majority of the questions are asked. Also learn services like EC2, S3, Beanstall, CodeBuild, CodeDeploy, and DynamoDB. The next step for preparing for the certification is to read AWS white papers and frequently asked questions. AWS white papers are written by the AWS team, independent analysts, and AWS partners and are highly recommended because they will help you have a better technical understanding in the AWS services. Also, take some time and refer the frequently asked questions as it can answer some of your doubts as well. Finally, take the practice exam. This exam is very challenging and similar to the real exam. You have to answer 65 questions in 2 hours. The cost for this exam would be 20 US dollars. I would highly recommend you to take this exam because you can review your wrong answers and also read the explanation to understand where you went wrong. These were some of the steps to start preparing for the AWS Developer Associate Certification. If you're looking for an online course which will help you prepare for the certification, do check out the link given in the description box below. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope it was helpful. Happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. 
do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!